Hey everybody, Skull Walters, buckle up and strap in. I got a hard-hitting pull, no punches, no sugarcoating it, no rainbows or sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today, apparently. Loan applications are going up on the spectacular news that interest rates have dropped. I think maybe you can get a mortgage rate now, maybe in the high fives. My gosh, this might be a signal that we've turned the corner. The housing market is safe. It's been saved. Not so fast, my friends, not so fast. We might want to proceed with caution right about. Now, this could, in fact, resemble a sucker's rally. And one of the things we can always do is pull from the past to predict a little bit of what might be happening in the future. You know, for me personally, and anybody that's been with the channel for a while understands that this might not be the answer to all our problems. If you're new, please subscribe. Subscribe right away. There's never been a more important time to get centered and surrounded with like-minded people. Iron will continue to sharpen iron, friends. The reality is, our friends, um, this is not a good sign. This just shows how interest rates, how the federal government can really manipulate these markets. Listen, there's, in my opinion, I don't care if you dropped them back down to what they were during the crisis at those never seen before lows. That was another, we broke a lot of the wrong records in this bubble during the crisis, all courtesy of the crisis, lockdown, stay at home orders caused this in massive bubble to be created. And when they made agents, realtors, essential workers, and then they tried to normalize it, they tried to act like this was normal. Of course it wasn't normal. This was an anomaly. This was something we've never seen before. And a lot of agents drank that Kool-Aid, thought this would last forever. And the ultimate rug pull has now occurred with the toying of interest rates to try to move these markets back and forth. forth. The realities are we're actually dancing on a razor's edge, trying not to collapse these markets with any big sudden moves. But we've done more interest rate hikes in a shor the shortest period of time ever witnessed in history as well. Unfortunately, it might be too little too late. Had they stopped it immediately when they saw this runaway train, when appreciation in properties went up almost 50% overnight, that's not a good sign. But nope, they just let that thing keep going. And they came in and tried to, I don't know, cry because they're locked in their basements too. Nobody acted when it was time to act. So now we found ourselves in yet another housing market that exhibited bubble behavior. And any time a housing market exhibits bubble behavior, it's going to have some crash risk. Now, for me personally, I put a very high percentage of crash risk on this one, even as somebody who's a licensed realtor benefiting from that euphoria, that this one would in fact have a high probability of crash risk. Which circles us back to the point I was about to make. You see, a little drop in interest rate, sure, you might create a sucker's rally and get a few people to start applying for loans again. But whether they get funded and an offer gets accepted is yet to be seen. That's not a sign of an uptick in sales. That's not a sign of a real estate market continuing from its what, what's now happening, happening with prices descending to sending it into an as ascending market. It hasn't done any of that. All we can tell you now is due to a slight drop in mortgage interest rates that we've seen an uptick in mortgage applications, not funded loans, applying for these loans. This won't save it, the market. And, and the reason I wanted to really draw this conclusion is, is in the 2008 era bubble, we saw the exact same thing happen. I mean, virtually exactly with maybe some small variations where we saw the market start to tank and a decline in property values and people got a little excited as they saw that. And then they re-entered the markets because the narrative was being pushed like the narrative that I just saw 
where the loan applications up, interest rates have dropped a little bit. But you see, unfortunately, even if we dropped these interest rates back down to those historic lows that created the housing bubble in the first place, I don't think lightning strikes twice in this one. Why, you ask? Well, of course I'm going to tell you. Because now we're in a runaway inflation environment and people's, the free money effect, has all but left. So interest rates alone will not save this housing market, possibly delay the race to the bottom that many areas of America will, in my opinion, experience. Some areas got way too red hot, and they're the ones that are at the biggest crash risk, right? It doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that one out. Some areas didn't get overheated overnight. Some kind of flat line just kind of operated more of a normal market. So those areas are still kind of relatively insulated from the recession in terms of their housing market. But because inflation is taking a bite out of those cities, the cost to live has gone up. Of course, it's going to take a bite out of their real estate market too because people can afford less now as their cost of living is rising. So you see, the housing market can't save a risen interest rate environment. And even if it could, it wouldn't happen overnight. You wouldn't just walk into the grocery store and see eggs go from $6 a dozen to $3 a dozen or whatever you're currently paying. It won't take a bite out of inflation like that. It will take years for the supply chain kinks and the price reductions that companies will continue to hold up as high as they can, even if their margins decrease, because they're going to price gouge you and me as for as long as they can for financial gain possibly to pr protect their investors. So when I see a report that loan applications are up in mortgage rates, and I get emails constantly, we get them here at the office of lenders trying to spin doctor this, that if your buyers have been priced out, interest rates have dropped a little bit, visit us. Now. Listen, all the lenders are in a free fall. We've heard about the Wealth Fargo's, the biggest banks in the world, suspending all new mortgages, disservicing their existing ones. Maybe their existing customers, they're being selective. They're cherry picking loans. Not like they were just writing them like it was the thing to do. Similar again to the 2008 era bubble where we were writing loans to just about anybody. Well, that was virtually the same thing in this bubble, sure, there might have been a little bit of guidelines implemented to make sure the strength of the loan was slightly higher than the 08 era, but the realities are it doesn't matter. People qualified for loans based on artificial pandemic-driven income, and now their incomes are going back to pre-pandemic levels, and inflation is, is crushing their purchasing power. Their cost of living is higher. So you see this thing, I don't know. I think I see a sucker's rally. And like I said before, I saw in the 2008 bubble where a lot of people did exactly what I'm seeing right here with this report. Loan applications going up because people now are like, hey, because you, you know if you've seen this show before, I always circle it back to the psychology of people and the psychology of sales. Throw so the playbook out the window, the data will not save you. We had that in the last bubble. It didn't save it. It won't do it this time either. You see, once you make up your mind to buy, I got gotcha. you. You're buying. It, the, the sky could be falling. Once you make up your mind to buy, you know how it is. You've done it before. You've bought something. And you went ahead and bought it because you just made up your mind to buy. Now, there's exceptions to that rule. Some people will see the light. A lot of my subscribers here we've done that we've sold our house at the height we we heated to the warning and we sold at the height of the bubble and we got out and now those neighborhoods are tanking people are thanking me they're saying thank you people are at the beginning of the show when the euphoria and fomo was going on they said scott we trust you we're going to get on the sidelines on this one and wait this one out now they're saying gosh you were right i'm really glad i got on the sidelines and waited this one out. And even though prices might still be relatively stuck on an elevated level in most neighborhoods in America, most of them are exhibiting that, that race to the bottom. We've never seen depreciation 
in real estate at this rate. And this, we're only a couple months in. We're just getting started the front end, first inning, correction phase of this downturn. We've never seen that happen at the rates they're currently turning the corner. So if you're watching the data, you're seeing those data points now show you that that turn has been made. So if it's going to automatically go up on the news of a slight reduction in mortgage rates and, and loan applications have risen, that might be, in fact, a sucker's rally. It's very important that we understand the waters that we're currently swimming in, that we're a level-headed realist temperature checking and heat mapping everything that's going around. Expect the unexpected. Prepare for the worst. Hope for the best. That way you come out somewhere in the middle. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, as a real estate professional, wants to see you not only win in real estate, when in life, understanding the biggest artificially created housing bubble ever produced in world history could not, would not, and cannot sustain itself. There's no magic tricks that save this one. It has to run its course. It now becomes at what speed? Will delay tactics po possibly delay the inevitable? Sure. That's what we're seeing when we hear of reports of loan applications go up by 25%. They were in the toilet that 25 percent isn't taking a big enough bite out of it and even if it did it won't matter because we have the two-headed monster runaway inflation in a risen interest rate environment and toying with that interest rate at minimal amounts will not save this one all areas will behave differently some areas might be reception recession insulated but not necessarily recession proof this bubble is much different than previous bubbles this downturn will be much different than previous downturns contagion will be a bigger component in this one because now in today's bubble we are all tied to our devices getting information in lightning speed and a lot of information to digest that's why it's so important to be very balanced have a healthy relationship with our stuff our friends, our family, our loved ones, our money, our homes, our cars, developing those healthy relationships so we understand exactly what's going on, that we don't fall for the latest trending headline. That's this herd mentality, centered and surrounded with like-minded people. I'm going to continue to blow the lid off it every step of the way because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video. If you'd like to contact me there, along with links to channels I've appeared on, I think you might enjoy it. If you need help buying or selling real estate here in America, I have the biggest network of top-rated agents in the nation ready to assist you. It would be our honor and our privilege to do so. Email in the description for you as well. Also, if you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, I know you're going to love the next video on your screen. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make a count today. I'll see you on the next video.